Furbio, a ready to use, it is the strongest ready to use product on the market, Fly and Red Mite, that it can be fogged, um, very low use rates. Um, its cost in use is very good. It's probably one of the best on the market in cost in use. Um, we like it a lot. Being a oil-based um, product, it does have quite a residual. We quite do quite like it. So keeping it up with the microencapsulation, different way, but does have a good residual. It is, you have to be careful when using it, a little bit does go a long way. The age old applying it to runoff, don't need to, nowhere near. Um, it needs to be applied very lightly and you'll get a very good result with it. So we're just gonna show you how to use the Perbio, ready to use, a very strong product. We have to be careful how much we use of it um, just try and work out what area you're going to cover because this product 50 millilitres will cover six and a quarter square meters it can be fogged at 0.4 of a mil per cubic meter so if you have got a thermal fogger or a cold fogger you can space treat with it so everything that's flying crawling in a space can be killed with it so termination on your poultry unit if you want to kill all your um, creepy crawlies that are in there, your red mites or your flies or whatever, you can fog it. We're going to spray it, so if you've got a working out of 200 square metres, you need to work it out at your required rate, 50 mils per 6 square metres, and pour it into the sprayer. You need, also need a very fine, before I put that in there, your nozzle on your sprayer needs to be very fine because it will deliver a lot more spray than what you need. Um, 50 mils over six and a quarter square meters is not a lot. So you need to make sure you've got a very fine nozzle in here and your sprayer is very clean. If you haven't got dirt gets into here, it will block your nozzle. But if we just get, we'll pour in roughly a couple of hundred mil into here. Again, no mixing with this one, it's ready to use, that is now ready to go and spray. Paying particular attention to cracks and crevices, removing birds, anything out of your way, so that you can spray that area. Just remove the lid and spray the areas behind that lid, the cracks and crevices that those red mite will live in. Perbio is a very good product for that because it's got a weak surface tension, so it will spread and soaks into any dust and any cracks and crevices that those red mite can live in. That dusty area there that needs to be soaked, Perbio is the better product. It will soak into that weak surface tension, spreads and drops into all the nooks and crannies and cracks, so you get contact with the red mite. Because they'll live in the crack, come out when the bird's at rest at night, crawl up the leg, take a blood feed, and then go back down again. So the red mite don't actually live on the bird. They live in the crooks and crannies, they only live on the bird momentarily while they take a blood feed and then they go back down again. So they'll predominantly be where your birds are resting. That's the place to look to see if you've got red mite, is if you identify where your birds are predominantly roosting, that's where you'll find your red mite. There again, on the underside of that slat, the red mite will be on those hooks where the slat hooks together. They'll be all in there. Again, the back edge that needs spraying, just keep everything soaked. Again, your Perbio is your better product in my opinion. It's quite good for dusty conditions. I wouldn't remove too much dust in spraying. I think you just end up spreading the red mite. If you think I'm gonna clean it all first and then spray, all those red mite that are alive in there, just drop to the floor and then recolonize in a different place. So if you're trying to control them, leave them as much as you can in the same place, spray them to kill them, then do a bit of cleaning and a bit of sorting out after. But you need them dead first, really. Mm -hmm.